Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Benny Review, the absolute OG show of this YouTube channel. One of the first things I ever made uh, and it's back now. Basically what this is, is I'm going to look at your edits and rate them and give you a few tips on what you could improve, what you could do differently next time, something like that. So believe it or not, this is for educational purposes, which is something I uh, said I wouldn't do, but here we are. Now do note, this is my own opinion based on my own skills and experience. So anyway, let's just get into the first one from SB Editing. Now I have to say this is looking very nice, very nice colors, a nice tone, a nice feel to it. There's one thing that's bothering me though, and that is the fact that this fish tank is completely perspectiveless. What I mean is that usually there's at least a bit of perspective when you take photos like these, and therefore it should look something like this. Now this is my own attempt, it's not perfect, but it's kind of an indication of what I mean. And then also, as you can see, I added just a bit of glow around the sides there, which I think would really finish this one but overall i have to say this is very very decent well done venture pictures made a uh, micro world type edit and i have to say this is one of the better attempts i've seen however there's one thing wrong with it and i'm gonna explain exactly what it is um first of all the lighting is a bit strange you have two shadows one on the left and one on the right and i'd say just get rid of one of them because you're gonna get a much more realistic 3d effect for example make the one on the left darker and the one on the right a bit brighter and get rid of that shadow and then you can see it's pretty much instantly it, it feels more real and then another thing you have the inside of the sarlacc shining through here that wouldn't be possible i'm not sure if this is on purpose or is it just some sort of artistic idea but I mean this is not realistic you would just see the ground because you can't look through the ground that's just not how it works so yeah I think it would look something like this then but this is my own attempt without using your PSD so uh, that's as far as that goes and I saw this one this is just this is beautiful honestly I'd say there isn't a single thing wrong with it it just looks beautiful it's very artistic very stylized in a way so this is honestly this is very well done oh by the way, I forgot, from now on I'm going to rate your edits with pixels. So it's either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 pixels. It's the same thing as stars really, but they're pixels because <laughs> Photoshop. So uh, yeah, this one I give 4 pixels because there's always room for improvement. Like if I ever give someone 5 pixels, that's... that's... This one I personally like. It's a pretty decent composition. One thing is off though. Um, this may be on purpose, but I don't think so. The earth now looks kind of small. That is because the clouds here and everything here in the atmosphere is behind uh, the earth, which shouldn't be the case. Those clouds are of course closer to the camera, which means the earth just feels a bit out of place and it should be more something like this now this of course is a bit weird but you get the idea it should be a bit more hazy down there and then on top you can see it very clearly that's um, that's what i think this needs let's say three pixels this one is kind of in the style of my early realistified things and honestly this is looking pretty good one thing i personally would prefer is if the shadows especially like the ambient shadows close up they can be darker sometimes the shadows are absolute black because there's zero light reaching those areas and it is a bit of a preference thing but i think something like this would look just a tad better but that's just my preference overall very good i'd say three and a half pixels now this one is very interesting, this is a very good example of something quite important. Um, he made a desert scene and in the background on the mountains you can see the shadows are very harsh, it's direct sunlight. Um, however, the shadow of the dog is completely different. This is a very soft shadow, the type of shadow you'd see if it's cloudy. And that of course is incorrect. The shadow of this pole is correct. I guess the lesson here is make sure that you're consistent with lighting. I tried making an example of what I meant, it's not very good but I only have so much to work with. But yeah, this it should be something similar to this where it's very you know harsh i'm gonna give this one two pixels because there's still some room for improvement but it's a good start that's for sure this one i think is freaking beautiful this looks very good very realistic as well um one thing that's bothering me is the light on this bear right here i mean obviously there's a window here shining quite bright light from the left but i i feel like the light on the bear is just a bit too intense so maybe you could dial that down just a tad but other than that i mean this is looking you even have like the reflection of the fish that's this is really well done i'm gonna give this one four and a half pixels because this is this is legit right here 
Next, we have this one. And here we have kind of the same problem as earlier. Uh, the lighting, that being the most important thing in photo editing, uh, it just isn't really, it, it doesn't match with the background. Like the two tigers have completely, one of them even opposite lighting. Um, it should be something more like this, where the light is clearly coming from the right, because on the subject it's coming from the right. It's tricky sometimes, but once you get the hang of it, you're gonna see that your work is really gonna improve by like, tenfold. I'm gonna give this one two and a half pixels because the overall tone is pretty good. This one I really really like. It's super badass and again there isn't something necessarily wrong with it but one thing I personally would add because as you can see it's kind of a bright highlight on his forehead. Um, I would personally add a bit of a brighter light area on top like light rays coming from the top because I feel like that's just gonna make it a tad more realistic but it isn't bad without it it just that highlight would be a bit too bright otherwise but I love this a lot so I'm gonna give this three and a half pixels and then we have this one now I'm gonna say the composition is pretty good I would say maybe the earth a bit to the right so it's centered but other than that I think the composition is decent but you can clearly see that it's it isn't very cohesive it doesn't feel like all of this belongs here and that's most of all color correction I think if you would add some more blue to all of these elements for example and a bit of pink maybe here and there it would help making it a bit more cohesive because right now that's just a bit lacking so I'd say start with that two pixels for this one this one I think is just genius most of all because of just the story I mean it's, it's it's funny and again nothing is necessarily wrong with it but I would say inside the fridge it should be a lot darker in general a piece of advice don't be afraid of the dark like don't be afraid to go full black on some dark areas and that's simply because there's barely any light reaching there same goes for this inside the fridge there shouldn't be any light unless there are lights inside the fridge but i don't see any of those so therefore i would say this has to be absolutely pitch black so i made uh, sort of my own version of this again and this i think is a bit more accurate but that's just me i th this is what i think so yeah but overall i'm i love this one i'm gonna give this four pixels on this one same story once again consistency as you can see there's very bright lightning here the highlights on these guys match perfectly this guy also has enough highlights i'd say but this guy just has none and that isn't realistic we need some highlights on this guy as well because clearly this light is definitely reaching there i'm sure you really have to make sure the light in your whole image is consistent two and a half pixels this one is absolutely amazing. I think the the tone and feel of this image is really strong. The composition is very good. You can you can almost live in this image, right? The only thing I could think of is maybe adding some red to the lightsaber, but that's that's completely preference because it's not necessary. But that's simply what I would have done. I love this. This is definitely four and a half pixels. Loki as Joker. Pretty cool. Um, one thing, wait, is this, was this from my tutorial? Anyways, one thing, like up here you have pretty bright highlights. That isn't bad. That's pretty good. Maybe they're a bit bright, but it's pretty decent. But down here, this is way too much. Like this is, it's too much. That's pretty nice image overall. It's just a bit too much of something. So as a tip, I'd say don't overdo it and I don't mean just highlights just in general I know a lot of people often do too much contrast or too much sharpness or you know that sort of stuff I'd say keep it mellow like don't go crazy I'm gonna give this one two and a half pixels I'm, I'm just gonna say it again I am gonna say it again consistency I feel like a lot of you guys know how to make a good composition but it's really just the lighting that often goes wrong which definitely is the hardest thing to do like it took me so long to figure that out but it is also the most important thing unfortunately um as you can see the light is coming from the right the dog has a good shadow uh, this thing does not there is zero shadow in this which of course is required it is necessary if you're gonna make an image like this so I'm gonna give this one two pixels this one I genuinely find beautiful. Like this is pretty, right? This is just pretty. And I had a hard time picking something out of here that's wrong, um, but I found one thing. I found something. As you can see, the edge of the landscape is very kind of straight almost, um, when really it shouldn't be. It should be something more like this, because as you can see, the rock below it is not straight at all. There's a bunch of stuff going on there. So you have to make sure that translates to the top plate basically if that makes sense but other than that i love the i just love it this is great like the the blue lights the haziness just the whole thing it's it's great fantastic work four and a half pixels i'm only gonna give five if someone achieved perfection like it's <laughs> 
this guy knows what colors are like this obviously works very well one thing however you probably want to make sure that the yellow light is also shining on wanda and the green light also because right now that's lacking it should be something like this which makes it also a bit more cohesive again so make sure to keep that in mind next time three and a half pixels this one I found very interesting. This is something I see a lot of people go wrong with, and that is water, putting things in the water. As you can see, this person made some sort of fade out into the water, which doesn't exist. That's not that's not a thing. Maybe if there's a layer of mist on top of the water, but clearly there isn't. So this transition has to be super harsh. There's like monster, bam water other than that i say the lighting is uh, pretty decent and the tone is also pretty cohesive so nice work three pixels this one looks very decent as well the lighting is coming from the left which is pretty much done everywhere so that's good one thing the shadow of the bear should not be there at all because the light is coming from the left we just established the shadow is probably not even visible inside this frame and then another thing the perspective on the bear is not correct this claw is way too big which which i'm guessing this was just a png you found somewhere so it makes sense that you did it but this isn't technically accurate this is only possible if his claw is extremely close to the camera which it isn't so uh yeah but other than that like incredibly cohesive it looks very cool the colors are near perfect so i would say i mean it's most of all perspective. Other than that, I like this one. Four pixels. And then we have the last one for today. Uh, this one, some of these parts have the correct lighting on them, like the shoe, for example. Others don't. The sword has zero light on it. The gauntlets, a little bit, but I feel like it should be more. Uh, the sword, the shield. So it's really just the same thing again. Make sure the lighting is consistent. And uh, other than that, I like this. So I'm going to give this four pixels as well. And with that, we had all of them for today. If you like this video, this series, and you want to see more, definitely let me know down below because I once promised myself I'd never make these videos again, and here we are. So uh, if this video turns out to do well, maybe I'll make more. Anyways, then I guess that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe because that... Why can't I say that line anymore? Because that would mean the world to me. And then I hope I'll see you... Oh, this is going so wrong on so many levels. And then I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.